Knockout is a game focusing on multiplication and area and has a little bit of strategy involved as well. This game is targeted to third grade and third grade standards of multiplication. However, younger siblings can play by focusing more on the concept of building the area. This is a two player game. Each player has their own color and both players will share one game board, either a printed out game board or some paper that has graph paper as well. And we will also need two dice. You want to have paper to keep score as well. Now, each person can keep track of their own score or one person can keep track. So, player one is going to roll the dice, hockey net, so our dice stay in control. Now, I got a three and a four, so I'm going to make a three by four or a four by three. And because I am the first player, I have to start here. So I have options of doing three by four down or four by three. So I believe I would like to do three down, four across. Now, right now I really don't have much strategy because I am the first person and I have to start in this box. So I'm going to shade in my boxes. And here I'm using my multiplication fact to find the area that three times four is 12. And I'm going to write 12 right here. And this is where younger students who have not worked with multiplication could actually count my boxes. Okay, I'm going to record 12 points over here on my game board. All right, it's player number two's turn. Player number two has the option of making their array any place that they'd like, or area model. Okay, player two got a three by two. So, not exactly sure what the best strategy here is and where to go because we are so early in the game. So, I believe that player number two would go here. Let's have player two go here. Whoops, and player two got three by two, so that is six. Three times two is six, and two times three is six. So player number two got six points, okay? It's player number one's turn. So we take turns back and forth to do this. Uh, in this game, we are making sense of the visual model as we represent multiplication. And your goal is to claim the most space on the board. So it's really important to work on strategy and really pay attention to where you can fill in space and where you would end up leaving certain blank boxes. For example, if we have a lot of one blank boxes all over the place, it might be harder to fill those in. I don't know. Good conversations to have along the way. So this is how you play Blockout. Enjoy.
most points. Or you could also play who fills in the last boxes. It's a different way to, um, to play this game. And maybe you don't want to play with this. You, you don't want to have the score at all, but you want to focus on this and really focus on the multiplication, which is the whole point of this game, and take this part out and then have the winner be the person who fills in the last box. So it is Purple's turn. Okay, let's see. Oh, three by five, not available. Not available. Back to purple, so close. Blue's turn, no. Purple's turn, no. Blue, one by one is worth one. Okay, let's see who is gonna be able to finish this. By playing the game this way, I think it adds a little bit more excitement. Because then you're taking it, you're taking the game off of the scoring and you're putting it back on to what we really want to focus on is our multiplication and our strategy and making a raise. Okay, it's purple's turn. No, blue, purple. Blue. Okay, so this offers a lot of conversation. What are we looking for? Okay, purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. Oh my goodness, purple, blue, purple, purple. So if we were playing who fills in the last box, purple won. If we were playing if we were playing who got the most points, blue won. So here actually, both players won if we're, if we're keeping score this way or if we're seeing who filled in the last one. So this is Blackout. Enjoy, create rules together as long as those rules are created at the beginning and everybody is on board with that, then go for it. Have fun.